we're not going to agree across the aisle with each other on, and I'm never going to agree with somebody that thinks that the government should pay for all, it should be single payer healthcare, socialized medicine, whatever you want to call it. Because I think we do lose innovation, we do lose choice, we, and, and, and healthcare is personal, it's not just a commodity. So what we're trying to do is find, things, how can we fix some of the expenses in the system? And one anomaly that just sticks up is, is the price of insulin. Insulin, uh, since the 1990s, really hasn't changed much. It actually hasn't changed dramatically over 100 years, but certainly since the late 1990s, and yet the price has gone up 207%. <coughs> Most people don't pay that because they pay it through their insurance, but if you don't have insurance or if you haven't met your deductible, you're paying the full bill when you go to your pharmacy. So it's bipartisan. A uh, lady named Dana DeGette is a chair. I'm not chairperson of the committee anymore, so I have to find the Democrats that we have to work with, and we find areas we agree and work together. And so what we wanted that we brought, we've had two hearings. One, establishing how much insulin is increased by having people who are diabetic, people in the Diabetes Association, physicians. And so then our second hearing was manufacturers of insulin and the pharmacy benefit managers who price insulin for the health insurance plans or get the price for the health insurance plans and try to figure out why has, in the end, if you have insurance, you're paying less for insulin, but if you haven't met your deductibles or co-pays, you're paying more. And, and those are, we're trying to really get to the answer. And what's, what is frustrating about it, you go from the manufacturer to the pharmacy benefit manager to the health insurance company to a warehouse to the pharmacy and everybody points to each other about where the price has gone up. We're zeroing in. We don't have the answers yet. We're going to have more hearings and more committees. And they come up with the right policy so that we can make insulin affordable. But what we want to do with it, one, why are you focusing just on insulin? We focused on drug prices. And there's a lot of reason for uh, drug prices. Hepatitis C, for instance, was 100,000. It's now 35,000. People say 35,000 is too much. But there was research that went into curing hepatitis C, and it's cured. The other cure for hepatitis C was a lot was a liver transplant, and so, so some drugs take a lot of research. They're a lot. They're very innovative and they cost money. But insulin was a good example of something that hasn't changed. But the price is going up. EpiPen. There's others. And so what we want to do is like focus on this one, figure out what the issues are, how we can affect them legislatively or regulatory, and then translate that to other similar situated maintenance drugs. You know, Lipitor. Drugs that are that are maintenance drugs.